New cases are on the rise, hospitalizations are on the rise, and the strain on our medical and public health professionals has reached a breaking point. Mayor Andrew Ginther announcing just minutes ago that there's going to be another mask mandate in the city of Columbus. With that, we say good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. First at four, I'm Brad Johansson. I'm Jennifer Bullock. NBC4's Eric Halperin is outside of Columbus Public Health where the mayor and local doctors just finished speaking. Eric, do we know yet when this mandate goes into effect? Jen and Brad, this will be an indoor mask mandate, and the mayor says he will be signing his executive order on it on Friday and that it will go into place immediately. The doctors here say this needs to happen because the situations in their hospitals are getting worse, not from a bed or supply perspective, but from not having as many hospital employees as earlier on in the pandemic. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther, Columbus Public Health Commissioner Dr. Mashika Roberts, and leaders from Central Ohio's major hospitals were here for the announcement this afternoon. This comes as case numbers are up big, specifically in Franklin County. Dr. Roberts says the county saw 2,500 new cases last week, which is a 37% increase from the week before. And back to those hospitalizations, the doctors here today say there are 900 COVID-19 hospital patients here in Central Ohio. That number was only 150 about a month ago. Vaccines were also strongly encouraged today. And when the mask mandate goes into effect, it'll be for both vaccinated and unvaccinated people. One of the big reasons for this is the mayor says burnout among hospital staff is a concern and just thanking them is not enough. Our healthcare professionals are at their breaking point and we need to step up to do more for our neighbors in crisis. We need to mask up, band together, and bring down the number of infections and hospitalizations. And again, Mayor Ginther plans to sign this indoor mask mandate on Friday and it'll go into effect immediately. He says more details about it should be coming out in the next couple of days, but that it'll be similar to previous mask mandates the city has had. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. Eric, thanks so much. Well, despite rising coronavirus cases among adults and children, Governor Mike DeWine will not be implementing a mask mandate anytime soon. Today, he said lawmakers could revoke any health order that he would put in place within a day. Instead, he says he will continue to put out information to those making decisions. This week, a group of Ohio Children's Hospitals sounded the alarm, warning people of the rising cases that they're seeing in Ohio's young people. And at this time, less than 50% of Ohio students are going to a school that has a mask mandate. Governor DeWine says that he's been speaking to superintendents about changing that. I'll continue to say to all the school superintendents in the state of Ohio, if you want your school to stay open, uh, if you want kids not to be quarantined, the best way to do that is to put a mass mandate on, at least for the immediate future until we get through this. The governor says the number one way that parents can help keep kids in school is getting vaccinated when possible and wearing masks if they can't. An alarming number of COVID hospitalizations are being reported by the Ohio Department of Health today. Since Tuesday, almost 460 patients turned to emergency care. Nearly 30 went into the ICU. ODH is also reporting more than 6,800 new cases today. Less than 49% of the state's population is fully vaccinated.